In the latest in a series of wildly successful apps, from Instagram to Angry Birds, Draw Something is the game to play this year. As is the case of almost everything these days, this addictive little app has undergone something of a social makeover. These upcoming changes mean that you can share your inappropriate little scribbles over your social network of choice. You'll also be able to bleat your ha 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 and what the f reactions over the new in-game chat. The world. Hold up a minute. This game was doing pretty well before these changes were added. Thing is, I've heard that the more shareable something is, the more likely it is to go viral, right? Get your notebooks out. It's time for some fun facts about Draw Something. The game was released on February the 1st this year and has already clocked up over 350 million downloads. It's been the most downloaded app on both the Apple devices and Android devices. There have been over 6 billion sketches shared between players, which works out as about 500 million scribbled messes, 200 million naked bums, and over a billion big floppy pe- <clears throat> There are fan pages, amazing galleries, hilarious parodies, some lewd collections, and a hell of a lot of cheaters. We're not the only people who have taken note. And social giant Zynga have dropped a cool 180 million on buying the developer. Anyway, one question we have is how did the game get so popular without any sharing features? Reason one, people love drawing things, especially if they get to muck about. Reason two, People like texting, tweeting and Facebooking from their mobile, so it's no surprise that they like drawing on it too. Reason three, everybody's a great big bloody show off at heart and they'll always seize the opportunity to show off their wit or artistic skills. Now, lots of people might say that Draw Something's triumph really shows the power of social gaming. Sure, it's social in the sense that you're playing against or with someone else, but if that's how you measure social gaming then we've had it for years. Think of Counter-Strike or World of Warcraft for example. Regardless. The bottom line is that this game has achieved astronomical success even without the most basic of sharing features, proving that games, ideas, apps, videos and content go viral because they make people happy, not because they're easily shareable on social networks. The moral of the story? People share things for one reason, and that's because they like what they're sharing. Adding sharing buttons certainly makes sharing easier, but it's that certain something that makes draw something something worth sharing. Something.